and I think um, you know that 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 rebellion, which which basically dominated the 2010s, I think is now beginning to give rise to this this counter revolution among university graduates, among millennial Zoomers from Gen Z and and minority voters, um, who are overwhelmingly moving leftwards. I mean, I'll give you one stat. Among university educated 18 to 25 year olds who've typically just graduated on their way to doing so, 85% are planning to vote for the Labour Party. Women have been moving sharply leftwards. University graduates, uh, university towns have 90%, 80 to 90% of Britain's minority ethnic population is planning to vote for Labour. So the, the groups that are part of this new revolt that's coming, and it is coming, um, you know, they are, they are mobilizing very quickly. Now the Conservatives can fend that off if they're clever. Um, the downside for many of those groups is that they concentrate narrowly in the cities and the university towns, so it's difficult for them to get this big majority. But for the Conservatives to, to, come, to come around that, to navigate that, they've got to give people a message that they find appealing and resonant. And that means for Rishi Sunak, it's not only about the small boats, it's also about a whole host of issues, you know, cost of living, the NHS, but also, you know, where are we going as a country? I mean, how sustainable is having um, net migration at these levels? Um, you know, what are you doing to defend Britain's distinctive identity and, and culture? These are things people genuinely care about. And they might not show up in the top 10 list of salient issues, but people genuinely care about them. They want to talk about them. They want to talk about what's happening to the country. And if the Conservatives do that, they've got a chance. They've got a chance of maybe, maybe scraping through with a smaller majority. Remember, they only need to be three points ahead in the polls. To, to, to win another majority. Labour have got to be 12 and a half points ahead in the polls to win a majority. So, you know, it is still very difficult for Starmer and Labour to win that. And so Sunak needs to win back all those levers that have left his party. And he needs to appeal to small town, medium sized town, coastal towns, um, non London England. Sunak needs to basically appeal to non London England in a very convincing, credible way. Because if he doesn't, then the revolution that began in 1979 that gathered pace through the new Labour years is about to have a whole new chapter and I suspect it will be a much more dramatic and far-reaching one.